Hello, I'm James Harvey, the professor of music theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory, and we're going to talk about something called the double period in this video. We've already covered the period, which again is two phrases, which can consist of an antecedent phrase and a uh, consequent phrase. So I'm going to write down here the example, a small example of a period. That was not a very good bracket. Let's do a better one than that. So we'll write A, B here, H, C, IAC. And then the A is going to be the antecedent phrase. B is the consequent phrase. I'm writing it so small that I'm just going to abbreviate here. And then above that, we're going to write here that this is a contrasting period. Contrasting period. So we already know all of that material. I'm going to add another period here after this, like this, and it's going to be A followed by A prime. We're going to have half cadence and we're going to have a PAC. So I have antecedent, we have consequent here, and then this is a parallel period. So we have one period followed by another. We can actually put this all underneath one umbrella with a nice unstraight line there. And when you have two periods together, which have an antecedent and consequent relationship, we're looking at what's called a double period, which is very common, by the way. So a double period can have either a contrasting or a parallel relationship with each other. What determines, well, first let's go and review the, uh, the difference between the contrasting and parallel periods. The reason this first one was contrasting was because there was an A followed by a B, so two completely separate phrases, which make them contrasting. The next one's parallel because we had an A followed by A prime, so it's the same material just with different cadences, making that a parallel period. The overall double period, what we're gonna look at is the first phrase in each of the periods. Notice that they're both A's, so that means that this is a parallel double period because they start with the same phrase. That's what makes this parallel. Now I'm going to switch up the phrases a little bit and we'll look at the other type. And to do this, I'm going to get rid of that A and this A. And we're going to go C, C prime like this. So I'm going to keep that parallel period in the second period there. But now the relationship between the A and the C is different. So this is a contrasting double period. So what uh, we need to look at a lot of material material here for the double period. And it can be a little bit to wrap your head around. But what makes this contrasting is that the first period and the second period start with different material. If they started with the same material, then it would be parallel. Now, we don't really go past the double period. There is such a thing as a three phrase period and things like that. But I'm just going to go over sort of the basics right now. Uh, so we have periods and double periods. And then in the next video, we're going to cover a, another really um, popular and common uh, phrase form, but this is probably the most common form that we run across in tonal music. Thank you.